back on the story time couch. <laughs> yes. Just in a different house this time. Still at my mom's house. She's taking care of me. I thought that was what I was doing. You're taking care of me too. Everyone's taking care of you. Everyone's taking care of me. You're just the queen. I am the queen. Anyways, welcome back to the vlogs. In today's video, I thought that we would follow up my Facebook video on my main channel and talk about some of my creepiest Facebook chats. I feel like most people watching have had at least someone contact them on Facebook over the years. Some stranger that wants to reach out that ends up being just plain creepy. So I have screenshotted some of my old Facebook chats that I was like, who is this person? And uh, I also have some other ones I couldn't find, but I'll tell you off my memory. They're very strange. So you're not just making it up, Jess? Just totally for making it up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you couldn't make this stuff up, trust me. <laughs> well, uh, I, I think some people could, you know. Yeah, you'd have to be really creative, though. Yeah, probably. Definitely. So anyways, though, before we get into all of this creepy Facebook stuff, today's video is sponsored by Fairy Berry. So they provide natural and organic personal care products for men and women. Every single product is made in fresh batches, and they believe in completely clean ingredients for your health. So they sent us two boxes of their organic deodorants we have here, so I'll open them for you guys. Not so just any see. boxes, combo boxes. Combo boxes, which is the best kind of boxes. So here we go. The packaging is so awesome, looks so natural. Here we have the men combo box and the women combo box. I love that these products are all natural because a lot of the time the deodorants you get in stores have some really harmful ingredients in them. So it's really great to use something that isn't gonna harm your body in any Anyway. So Fairy Berry's natural deodorants are the only natural deodorant currently on the market that contain organic aloe vera juice as its base ingredient. It also has 100% naturally derived ingredients, all vegan friendly, paraben free, cruelty free, gluten free, dairy free, soy free, and aluminum free. So on their website, you can get free shipping with any order over $25. And each month, Fairy Berry randomly selects a customer that leaves a review and gives that customer $100 store credit to shop on their website. So there is a 25% off discount code linked down below in the description. It's applied automatically as soon as you click on the link. And thank you so much, Fairy Berry, for sending your awesome products. I cannot wait to use these deodorants. And I think you guys will love their products as well. So check out the link down below. All right, so let's get into some of the creepy Facebook chats. You've never had any creepy chats, have you? No. I'm very simple when it comes to like my social media interactions. If I know somebody, sure I might talk. If I don't know them, I don't say anything. But also like guys don't really get. In my entire Facebook career, Jess, I probably posted three times. Yeah. And I had it at that point for five years. Yeah, you're just not a social media guy. No, even with Twitter now, I used to tweet every single day. And now you and never tweet. Now I never tweet. Last yeah. time I tweeted was of Winnie running around out in the snow. And that's pretty much all I do anyways. She's more sociable than I am. So, the first example that I'm gonna use is one that's from memory. I can't find the chat. I don't know if the person like removed their Facebook or something, but this it was- It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no, this was a guy that used to go to high school with me. And he I told messaged... you it was me. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> He uh, messaged me when I was in the first year of college and this guy, what's weird about it is that I had never spoken to him before. We've never had any interactions. He doesn't know any of my friends. Personally. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like this guy like was basically a stranger to me. Like, yes, he went to our school, but I never saw him or talked to him or anything. Anyway, so he decides to add me as a friend first year of college and then he sends me a message and he's like, hey Jess, just wondered how you're doing. And like, okay, that's not creepy. I mean, it's weird because we've never talked before, but I was like, hey, I'm good, thanks, how are you? And then he goes, just wondering, uh, are any of your friends single? That's one of your friends. That's what my brain did. I was like, oh, warning sign. Mom! <laughs> Mom! Mom! You missed it. Anyway. This guy asked if any of my friends are single. So I asked him, why, do you know any of my friends? No, but I've seen them in your pictures and they're gorgeous, are they single? And I was like, uh, no, cause I just, they were. But I was like, no, and like, you don't know them. So they're probably not gonna wanna like randomly meet you. <laughs> 
And he's like, but are they sick? Can I, is there any way I could speak to them or like talk to them or have their number? And I was like, no, no. Like, isn't it weird how he asked me that? Like, go ask them if you're like that. Like, they're all tagged in the photos. Just creep somebody's Facebook like a normal person, okay? Like a no <laughs> it was just so weird. So I, like, awkwardly just stopped answering him, and then we've never spoken again since. Until but, like, come on. <laughs> it was just so weird. Anyway, I've saved a couple other chats. These ones aren't as creepy as the one I just told you, but still, like, random. Totally random. Okay. So this is from a man named Bernie. Anyway, he added me on Facebook and I sent him, hi, do I know you? He like friend requested me, but I didn't accept it. So I went there and I was like, hi, do I know you? And he says, nah, dot, dot, dot. Just realized I clicked on add friend though. <laughs> Cause you accidentally do that really. Then he says, my fault, not to sound like a total creep, but I saw a comment of yours on Vine and I thought that you were very pretty. So I clicked your name. Sorry for creeping on you. He saw my picture on a comment on Vine and somehow found my Facebook. That's so creepy because my Facebook and Vine were not even slightly connected. Isn't that weird? And he accidentally pressed on add friend and like found me on Facebook. People are just so strange. Like, do people think that they're gonna get an answer like, oh, hi, you found me and stalked me? Yes, let's hang out. Like. Anyway, it's probably it's that worked creepy, for but... somebody because they keep trying. Anyway, so this is another chat that I had about some guy who knew which college I went to. So I guess he saw me on campus or something, but I have never seen him in my life. It's so creepy when like someone notices you, but you've never seen them because that means they've been around and like watching you. It's really weird. Anyway, he found me on Facebook, tried to add me as a friend and I said, hey, do I know you from somewhere? And he says, I'm from Humber North Campus. Now that you know where I go to school or went to school, I should say. So I said, oh, I see. Cause like, what a, okay. Just, ah. I was like, oh, I see. And he said, do you like to be my friend? And I said, I don't know you, sorry. And he said, it's okay. So at least he took it like a champ. I win. I know you're not the center of attention right now. Always when we're vlogging. Yep. And otherwise she doesn't care. Like she wants to be right, right in the camera. Yep. She, you got the loaded end though. Uh, Mom, since you're here, has anyone ever sent you a weird Facebook message? Weird Facebook message. Like creepy? No, I can't say I've ever had that. Have any of your ex-boyfriends ever added you on Facebook? No, and you want to know why? Why? Your father wouldn't let me put my maiden name on Facebook. Oh, yeah. So they don't know where I am or who I married. There you go. Protective daddy. That's right. Yep. Smart guy. <laughs> Anyways, though, those are my strange... I've had other weird interactions on Facebook, but I can't remember them. I've probably done story times on them on my channel before. Just one second. Winnie's hugging our thank you card. Winnie, <laughs> this is for the deodorant. It's not for you. That's probably why she's sitting there smelling yeah, it. Yeah, she's like, but it smells so great. How could I not? <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you've had any weird Facebook chats or Facebook stories, definitely comment them down below. It'd be funny to like have you guys send us screenshots of like weird chats from strangers and like read them. As long as they're not like criminal offenses. You know? Yeah. As long as they're just sort of funny, weird people and not like something not that needs something to be going really to the police. Serious. <laughs> yeah. Please. Don't send serious stuff to us, guys. There's a police department yeah. made for that. And, like, don't talk to strangers, you know? Never a good idea. Never a good idea. No. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Facebook creepiness update, and uh, we'll probably do a lot of main channel follow-ups on this channel because it's fun to kind of, like, talk about what I talked about on the main channel. Saves me ideas, so. <laughs> Saves you ideas. It's fun. Anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye! See you guys.